And here are solutions to perfect problem one for math 243. Um, all right, so we have 10 octogenarian females. Um, I think that means 80, 80 year old ish people in their 80s. Um, we surveyed them to find out how many cats they own. The resulting data was okay, so one person had zero, one, one, zero, two, two. It's how many cats each of these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten ladies had. Um, so what we got to do is compute the mean, the median, the mode, the range, and the variance all by hand. All right. Um, let's see the mean. Good enough place to start. The way you get the mean is by adding all these guys up. So 0 plus 1 plus 1 plus 0 plus 2 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 0 plus 2. And then divide by how many observations you got, 10 in this case. I'm going to see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 18, 20. Divided by 10 is 2. So we figured out that our mean is 2. On average, each of these ladies have two cats. Um, for the median, what you want to do is first order your list. So we have one zero here, another zero here, and it looks like another zero over there. So three zeros, one, two ones. Let's see, one, two, three twos. Um, a four and an eight. Make sure we got them all, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so we ordered our list. And now we want the n plus 1 over 2 largest observation. So what do we need for that? Well, we need to know what n is. n is just how many observations you have, 10 in this case. So we need the 10 plus 1 over 2 um, largest observation. Okay, unfortunately 11 over 2 is 5.5. So it's not like it's the fifth or the sixth largest. Um, it's somewhere between the fifth and the sixth. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's somewhere between this one and the two. And the way we figure out what the median is, is by we average the fifth and the sixth and largest observation since 5.5 is right between 5 and 6. So the average of 1 and 2, you can get that by 1 plus 2 divided by 2. 3 over 2 is 1.5. So our median is 1 and a half. All right, mode, a little bit easier. For mode, you just look and see which one happened the most. And we got three zeros and we got three twos. So mode um, is both 0 and 2. If you remember the word for that, it's that it's bimodal um, at zero and two. You don't have to use this language, just tell me zero and two or something like that, and you're good. Um, range, range is another kind of stupid one in my opinion. All the range is is the difference between the biggest and the smallest. Biggest is eight, smallest is zero, eight minus zero is eight, is the range. Um, and what we saved for last was the hardest one, it's the variance. And the way we'll get that is by making a table. Um, usually uh, you call your first column x sub i, this just kind of means all your observations. So what do we have? Three zeros, two ones, three twos, a four and an eight. Three zeros, two ones, three twos, four, and an eight. And then the next column you set up is usually write x bar. Um, it's just the mean. So it's two. You just copy those all the way down. Uh, and your next column is, okay, how far away is each observation from the mean? Which is kind of what this is saying. This guy minus this guy. 0 minus 2 is negative 2. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. 2 minus 2 is 0. 
4 minus 2 is 2, and 8 minus 2 is 6. And the next column comes from the fact that, okay, if we added all these up, it wouldn't really help. We just get 0. That's always going to happen. It's a property of the mean. But if we square all these, they'll all become positive, and it'll give us an idea of how far away everything was from the mean. So negative 2 squared is 4. 1 squared is 1. Or sorry, negative 1 squared is 1. 0 squared is 0. 2 squared is 4. And then 6 squared is 36. And then these guys right here are what we want to add up. So 36 plus 4 is 40. 41, 42, 46, 50, 54. But that's not our variance. Our variance, um, the symbol you use for it is s squared, is equal to 54 divided by n minus 1. Um, n is the number of observations, so it's 10, so n minus 1 is 9. Um, and this one worked out nicely. This was just pure luck. I didn't work hard to make sure this would work. But 54 over 9 simplifies down to 6. So what we get is that our variance is equal to 6. Uh, no fractions or anything. And I believe that's the end of the problem. I think we got everything here. Yep, that's the end of the perfect problem.